good morning. Actually, it's good afternoon. Yep, it's noon already. I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, seems like emotions are kind of high with everything going on in people's lives, and I don't know. Um, my hubby called, well, he texted and talked about how the Taliban has one of our Black Hawk helicopters and that there was a suicide bombing um, and there's three injured. I don't know what else is going on there because it feels like half of what they tell us is wrong and the other half, I mean, unless you see it, you know, on the ground, that's what's really happening. So the MSM just seems to be just feeding people whatever they want them to, to know. It's not good. Um, I watched a movie the other night and it got me thinking about what would actually happen and how things would actually be in a shift situation if the world had actually fallen. And what I mean by the world falling, I mean like total crap storm. And in this movie, um, people, there was good people and bad people and a lot of people didn't no longer had homes or their homes weren't safe to stay in so they were basically had a bag and they were on the road constantly and some of them had tents and these people would come and start storming tents and <sighs> there was one part you know where <clears throat> they just knew what to do the boy grabbed the ladder and put it up against the door so people couldn't get in and people were obviously robbing people left and right this was like the way of life in this movie at this point in time. So they traveled and even family members were getting evil acting and doing wrong things. But there was some good people in the movie. I got thinking about how safe we all actually would be. How long could we hold up? That wouldn't be a good situation, <laughs> just saying. You know, I would like to think that, you know, we could hold our own, but watching this, I have a new outlook, so I'm gonna have to make some changes. Yep, gonna have to make some changes there's a lot of things that we don't think about um points of entry um if someone would to get into your home things that they could do outside of the home to cause issues inside um to make you flee um obviously you know one of the only reasons i would ever give up and leave my home is if it was on fire and we could not put it out we ain't bugging out for nothing unless we're having a fire um, but yeah, it makes you, it makes you think, you know, um, a lot of things seem to be going on that are been going on for a long time, but people are right now just starting to be like, wow, you know, and it's affecting everyone differently. And I understand that, um, I've been in fight and flight mode my whole life. For different reasons and I know what kind of toll that can take on your mind and your body so knowing me okay knowing oneself I keep myself in a certain place for my own well-being for myself for others because if I can't take care of myself then I can't take care of others you see what I mean and when you let emotions run how you perceive others or perceive the world it can become very dangerous however it can also be useful you just have to be careful of there's the thing called stinking thinking okay people who love you aren't your enemy so don't Try not to take it out on those, those people. 
but those often closer to you are the ones that you take stuff out on. I mean, it's easy to say, just don't do that. But if it happens, turn it around real quick, okay? Because that's not good, especially in a shift situation. And I'm going to start thinking more on the shift situation now, again. Even though we're not quite there yet, we are, in a sense. We have to start being more careful of our stinking thinking and how we are, I call it a flash reaction, you know, like those reactions where it just happens, you know what I mean? Um, I know that it only is, takes a second, but really it only takes a second also to stop and think, you know? Um, I'm really good at understanding people and just being understanding towards others. However, when I start feeling it from many, I tend to start backing off and doing my own thing. Um, yeah. So I guess that's where I'm going to be at for a little while is getting our home back in order. And I know we only left for a few days, but not that I wasn't in reality for a few days because obviously, you know, I'm living, it's reality. I didn't have to come home and worry about laundry and sweeping the floors and doing this and doing that and playing catch up, you know, that's, that's pretty much now I'm at where I'm doing basic normal things I would if I were here all along. Um, I got thinking about being stuck in our home again. I got thinking about our yard. I got thinking about windows and doors and um, all those things that I had on point before seems like a mess right now. It doesn't seem as safe as it was before. So therefore, it never really was that safe as I thought it could be. Yeah, we have a large mag. Yeah, we have many communications to be warned about certain things that could happen. However, it's that point of when it happens, are you actually going to be ready? I'm going to go out here and say, we're going to do the best we can. But no, I don't think you're ever fully ready, ever, emotionally, physically. Um, but you have to do the best you can. So back to the fight and flight. I'm not a threat. I don't know why I would even be a threat. However, if you th feel threatened or if you are a threat to me, I could become a threat due to the fact that my life and my family's life is important to me. However, I wouldn't throw people under the bus in a shift situation. Do you see what I mean? I have godly morals, you know, no man left behind. So things that are going on right now in Afghanistan, it bothers me a great deal. We seem to be separated by a lot of different things. This, this divide that they've caused seems to be broad. We are all people, no matter what country we live in, no matter where we're at. As long as you're good people, then you're good with me. I do not tolerate certain 
behavior or certain, I'm just going to go out there and say this, I don't tolerate certain religions because I don't believe that way. I don't think it's morally okay to follow certain things like the Quran, for instance. It's wrong. So that's where I'm at right now, and um, I need to get my head back into a war game. All right, so that's what I'm going to be doing, and um, if anyone's interested in chit-chatting about that, then you're welcome, but I'm not going to tolerate any kind of um, negativity or attacks because that's not where we're at right now. All right. Love you all and have a blessed day and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs> Lake Fairy signing out.